Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Clash Royale. I've been having a hard time. I've been going through decks like no tomorrow. Um, I can't remember what my original deck is. I could probably just go look at an old video, but I have been messing around with decks like there is nothing else going on. And I have won my last three games and a draw, but before that it was like back and forth, back and forth, lots and lots of defeats as you guys can see here. I went through huge amounts of defeats. Now I don't know if changing my deck was the idea to like try to win again, but I felt like I didn't like my deck anymore, so I changed it. Um, you guys can see right there, that's my new deck. I'm using Elite Barbarians with the Royal Giants instead of using, uh, what was it, Rage Spell and something else and the Hog Rider. I took those two out, put this. The deck is very heavy. But I feel like it uh, responds to more situations. Now, I know instead of um, these guys right here, the Leap Barbarians with 211 damage, I could technically go back to using the Mini P.E.K.K.A., which was really good. But the thing about the Mini P.E.K.K.A., the second it gets surrounded by anything, it pretty much dies. And to put in the Mini P.E.K.K.A., I would have to... You know what? I could use the Mini P.E.K.K.A., but I don't know. I'm liking the Leap Barbarians, so we'll switch it around if I have to. It does cost less. So if anything, that'll be the change in my deck. I'll either take away the Royal Giant or the Leap Barbarians. But before we continue any further... Uh, I did have my chest here and I totally forgot about it. I was going to save it for this video. Then I'm like, oh man, it's way past the time. And you guys can see my chest is still sitting there. So I'm going to open this one first just in case it disappears. So we're going to start off with the clan chest. I don't know if it lasts until the next one resets. I thought it was going to happen after the whole event was over. I guess not. So 1,620 gold. Spear golems, 10 of them. Mini P.E.K.K.A.s. Hey, it's a sign, guys. It's a sign. Might have to start using it again. Uh, motors, three musketeers, which is actually a really good card. It just costs a lot, and I don't like heavy cards at the moment. That's just me. Uh, tombstone, skeletons, and last card is more baby dragons. Good job. I think I, I think I actually gave away one of my baby dragons by accident, or I could have leveled it up right now, but I can't level it up. Sadly, oh well. Oh yeah. You guys are probably like, oh my god, look at that. Legendary chest, guys. Legendary chest. I told you a couple videos ago, I saw in the rotation, it was like 24 chests away. It is finally here. It has an hour and 37 minutes. And the reason I'm not opening this video, because in an hour and 37 minutes, it'll be, f what? Hour and 32? It'll be well close to 7 in the morning. And I'm already tired. This is the last video I'm making of the day. So... I'm not going to stay up till 7 o'clock in the morning and lose all my sleep. So that legendary chest will be part of the next video. And maybe in the shop there will be another legendary chest. But I need gems. So on this free chest we got wizard, gold, minion horde. Not bad. I do want to upgrade my wizards to level 7. And it's almost halfway there. Uh, we got gold in this one. Infernal tower which I am using. And mini hoard, minion horde which is a good card. I do like that. Uh, silver chest. And then we're going to go for the crown chest. And that's it. Uh, crown chest. Yeah. 56 gold, elixir collector, and fire spirits. And for the crown chest, so far, nothing crazy, but I'm okay. Legendary chest waiting for me just there. Two gems, gold, rockets, two of them, motors, tombstone, and last card is spear goblins. All right, that was a very, very sad chest. Uh, two gems, I'm okay with that. I'm 45 gems away, and I might be seeing this chest in the next day or two. It's uh, supposed to be a legendary chest for 500 gems. It says it on Stats Royale, so we'll see what happens. As for everything else, guys, I didn't really get much this video, did I? I didn't get much to actually go in and change stuff around. Um, I might use mini P.E.K.K.A.s. I might not. Who knows? But let's just go for a couple battles, and we'll see what I'm doing wrong, guys. I'm, or if I'm doing something right, it's just my deck's not that good. Uh, so we're going to start off. I like starting off like this. This is probably where it's bad, but I like start poking at him and forcing him to use something like Skarmy or Valkyrie or an Infernal Dragon. And then I'm going to drop my Infernal Tower right here, which is terrible placement, by the way, guys. I should have pushed it a little bit more to the side, but I don't know if I would have got aggro there. Now, I totally got myself screwed over here. Uh, that's all my aerial on that side, and that's why I placement was very, 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 very bad. Uh, let's see if I can just zap this guy right here to stop that from happening. Hopefully, I can get those pups out, and then this arrow right here should do enough damage. I did take tons of damage right there, losing so far. And that's where placement is very important. I lose games like this because of stupid placement. It's just like my chubby fingers just just don't place it properly. Um, so I'm not going to apply pressure here. Since I know he has all this going on, I am going to start 
facing him instead. Uh, we got roll. There we go. That's where I kind of want it because it'll go back and forth on both sides and it'll get aggro on least on one side, which is really nice. So I'm going to keep defending here because I can't take any chances. I can't just drop my uh, princess over there to do damage. It's not worth it. The three elixir in the starting. It's good. Kind of good. I don't know, guys. <laughs> um, so he's going infernal dragon right there. Let's drop that there. I think that should be enough right there. And you know what? Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Let's drop that right about there, guys. So my wizard is going to go do off, do his own thing. My infernal tower isn't looking too good right now. We do got that happening. Let's drop that like that. Get some hits in there. That zap was probably bad, and I should have used an arrow instead. But let's go roll a giant. We got to do pressure. He wasted most of his elixir already. If he drops like a Skarmy or something, uh, let's drop that army right there. That's going to be kind of bad. Okay, so this is where the deck is kind of funky. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing everything properly. But those skeletons are about to do ham, which is going to be nice. So I do get a tower in return. I didn't need that wizard. I could have just done the princess. But the pressure's there, so let it happen. Uh, I'm going to drop an infernal tower right about here. Oh, that was bad. That was so, so bad. So bad. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, roll a giant. I got to go through my rotation. Let's drop that over there. Let's get the wizard out of here. Oh, this is bad. Let's drop that over there. That tower is going down regardless. So I got to do another one right here, guys. I got to do another one right here. Uh, double princess. Double princess. Let's start doing our own power over there. I can't really do anything. I got to do this. I got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Yeah, I lost this one, guys. I lost this one. This was a bad match. Okay, so that first game, not there was just too much aerial and bad placement of my towers. So that was a write-off. We're going to go right into the second game here. Uh, drop Princess, just to start off. I have nothing else to really defend with. If anything happens right now, I'm pretty much screwed. This is where the deck's kind of weak. There's too much stuff to go towards the tower, which is really bad. Um, so we have that happening right there. I'm going to drop this around here. Which is going to be fine. Wizard over here. I did take some cheap shots, which kind of sucks. Can't really do anything about it. Uh, Wizard's going to pop that thing before it pops me, which is good. And let's drop a Royal Giant and see what happens. Now, I think the Royal Giant is actually going to take aggro. Oh, oh, perfect. Okay, good. That kind of works out because my Wizard's not going to get damaged by that Valkyrie. Oh, or is he? No, he's not. And we took down his Furnace, plus we're going to get a couple hits in, which is not that bad. I don't feel like that was a bad thing right there. He drops Furnace again. I'm going to get one more hit. No, I don't get another hit in. Uh, let's go Elite Barbarians back here, and we're going to back it up with a Princess. Now, again, the, the bad thing about this deck is that I think that I don't have enough units to actually do attacks. Like, enough units to actually attack. Now, this is going to take a beating right here. That kind of sucks. But the whole point is that I don't have enough units to come out and do damage to their units. They're all targeting specifically the actual tower or just in general furnaces, infernal towers, tombstones. I'm trying to remember all the cards. I don't have it memorized properly, but I'm trying to remember everything. Uh, basically, my only attack medals are the princess, the bar elite barbarians, and the wizard. Everything else targets something specifically. Uh, Hog Rider right there should turn, which is good. And then I'm going to keep waiting here, guys. I'm winning the DPS rate, though. The DPS race is on my favor right now. Uh, I'm going to take two hits there, which is totally fine. Let's go roll a giant and try to piss him off and see what happens. Of course, that just happened. Of course. Let's go princess in the corner over here. Oh, wow. Giant went right for that. All right. That works. Uh, he dropped the Valkyrie there, but that's not going to be a big deal. The giant's going to go for the hit. Let's go like this. Two barbarians. Let's go with the... Scar me over here, and let's just apply pressure straight into the tower up there, guys. This should be okay. Um, I'm going to drop a wizard. I should be able to defend very easily now. Hog Rider is going to go. I'm going to zap that, and I'm going to arrow right there, and that should be fine. He thinks he's got me. He thinks he had me there with the bar uh, barrel going on. That ain't happening. Uh, we're pretty much good from here. I'm just going to defend as much as I can now at this point. Uh, sure, why not? Let's just throw down a Scar me there. Skarmy's gonna take down most of the uh, Skarmy's gonna take most of the hits while my wizard does work. Let's zap these two right about here. And we should be set for game, guys. There we go. Good game. There's no way he's gonna recover from this. Don't even know why he's trying. 
Don't even know why he's trying there. That wasn't going to work at all. With Infernal Tower up. So, first game really, really bad. Because I don't have good stuff against Ariel. But, uh, second game turned out a lot better. Now, what can I do to change this around? Uh, possibly take away the Elite... I think not the elite, but uh, I'm going to take away maybe the Royal Giant and add something. But this is the deck I'm using right now, guys. I just want you to tell me, is it my gameplay or is it the deck itself? Um, again, dropping this in the starting is probably a terrible idea. But this is what I've been doing. Just to get a couple cheap shots in there. And then he drops his Valkyrie. That's usually what happens. I drop my wizard. We blast each other up. Um, he never, never has someone use Fireball. Interesting. I feel like that's a waste right there. Uh, let's go roll a giant and see what happens. Oh, 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 is my wizard gonna go in front? Is my wizard gonna go in front? Okay, roll a giant, took the aggro, that's what I wanted. Um, anything from here, I don't really care, as long as I get these hits in. As long as I get these hits in, I'm pretty much good. I am gonna go Skarmy here, and then get that Infernal Tower up. So I gotta get that Infernal Tower up ASAP, which is gonna go right about here, and it should aggro. Oh, look at that guy, eh? Let's try to get a zap there, stop that. Took a lot of damage. I took a lot of damage. Uh, basically, the, <laughs> the Infernal Tower wasn't in rotation. That was pretty bad. What is with this guy in Fireballs? I guess he gets value there on the Infernal Tower and everything. But now I'm going to get at least two hits in. Possibly three. I got two. And just two. Alright. So... I think I'm going to go Leap Barbarians here. That was probably a little too slow. It should push him back. Which is going to whack him out. And let's see what he has for this. Well, I know what he has. Let's just see what he's going to do. He goes Valkyrie. Very, 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 very good choice. Uh, let's go like this. Just to get a couple hits in. No, see? I, I'm not sure how to use the cards properly. Uh, 228 to a 751. I am losing, but it's not terrible losing. Uh, he used everything pretty much that might annoy me. But he can take down this really easily. Oops. <laughs> Uh, let's go Royal Giant and punish him for that, I guess. Hopefully Royal Giant can... Nope. Royal Giant doesn't take a couple hits. But we do have that happening, which is good. I'm going to drop a Zap right about here. And we should be able to get a lot of pressure into there. So we do get first tower, which is good on our part. Um, we got to be ready for that, that right there. That exactly right there. I got to be ready for that. Infernal Tower took aggro of the balloon, which is perfect. Um, as... Wow, this guy really, really, really wanted my tower down. Like, very badly. Uh, what am I going to do from here? Let's go like this. Let's drop that right there. Let's zap that group to stop all this. And that's going to get some damage in, which is not too bad. Um, I don't feel like that was too important right there. I'm going to start applying pressure, though, right over here and see what he does. I'm going to back that up with the wizard. He is going to apply a lot of pressure there, so I can't be too greedy. So I'm going to let my Royal Giant do some work, and then we're going to see from here. If I get a tie, I'm okay with the tie. That's totally fine. Uh, i got to be very, very careful with what I do right now. got to be very careful with what I do right now. i got to be... See? Like that. That's what I mean. That's what I mean by being very, very careful. Uh, so he does get a Gaunt Barrel over there. I am going to arrow it. Uh, he is going to win this one. There you go, guys. Um, it's probably me. I'm probably really bad at this. <laughs> Wizard on top of a thing. Bad idea. Let's go for... I See, I gotta be careful again. I can't spend too much. So let's go Elite Barbarians over here. Drop an Infernal Tower right about here. Uh, drop a Zap Spell as soon as that lands. Which doesn't hit all of them. I do lose right there, guys. I do lose right there. So, that's my deck. I think it's me, personally. I think it's just how I'm playing this deck, or there's just too much heavy stuff, or not enough answers for certain things. I don't know what to do from here, guys. I do want to fool around with a bunch of decks. I don't want to look up anything crazy good or standard. I just want to try different things out. Maybe a mixture of so many sixes and fives is not good, because uh, Infernal Tower costs five, Wizard costs five, those two cost six. My rotation's not that bad, three, three, threes, and twos, but I feel like something's missing. This is probably definitely not my permanent deck. I'm just having fun right now, guys. I am dropping. I am below 2,000, which is bad. I got to win my next game to get me back into my arena comfort zone, which is 2,000. But for now, that's it for this video. Hopefully, uh, 
Hopefully it's not me. Hopefully it's not me and it's a deck. The deck's really bad, but we'll find out. And my new legendary tomorrow, so hopefully I get something that can actually change my deck around quite a bit. But that's all I got. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.